water. Alright, buddy, let's get this thing going. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks and today is Saturday, May the 18th and we are back here at Disney Springs on a beautiful Saturday again and I decided to bring the parents back to Deluxe Burger. Cindy and I did Deluxe Burger um, a couple weeks back and we had a great time here. So I brought Cammie and my mom and my dad back here and they are in the middle of eating. I haven't eaten my burger yet so I'm going to share a little bit with you. Joe, Liam, Crazy, uh, oh hold on. Crazy Domo, Bridget, Way Too Sun, uh, Street Cred, thank you for being here. Thank you everybody for coming on. Lisa Warden, photographer, great to have you here from Wisconsin. So I'm gonna turn you around real quick. I'll show you what everybody else has and then we'll turn you back around to me. Is that an old friend? Yeah, and uh, my friend Michael is actually here too from Theme Park Brothers. There's uh, mom or grandma and she has the regular the regular burger with the lettuce, tomato, and pickle and all that good stuff. Very good. Cammie just got a regular kid's hamburger, and now she's eating the fries. And Dad or Grandpa got the, what'd you get? Barbecue. The barbecue burger. So it's got like the Everything. the onion ring, the barbecue sauce, the Gouda cheese, lettuce, smoked Gouda in there. So everything looks really, really good there. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's about a 15. On a scale from 1 to 10, it's a 15. So you guys know we love Deluxe Burger. We told you that the last time we were here. It's amazing. And hey, Chris with the Super Chat. Thank you for all you do. $1.99 Super Chat from Chris. Thank you so, so much. And there's Cammy's super, cha super Chat Scream. I can't talk. But I got the Seasonal Burger. I always like to get the, the Seasonal Burger. And this happens to be a Caribbean Burger today. Look at that. That is absolutely insane. It's got the, uh, the beef patty. It's got a Caribbean Jerk sauce on it. And it has a, a fried plantain, 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 however you say that. And it's got some onions on there, some lettuce. Um, but you know these things are just uh, crazy when you eat them. So they're very, very juicy. So enjoy. This is all gone. <clears throat> now you just couldn't eat all the fries. That's really, really good. And messy. Hey, Crazy Domo, $14.99 Super Chat. Thank you very much. Great to catch you live again. Sorry I missed things, was busy with uh, commencements and stuff. Great to be back, thank you for keeping me in the loop with all the content. And you're very welcome, thank you for the, uh, the $14.99, that's very generous. Super Chat screen. Oh. No, I'm trying to interrupt Dad. What are Bridget you? says, hello Cammy from Nikki. Hello. Menu Rager from Ohio, very cool. Yay. What part? What part of Ohio? We're near Cleveland, so. When anyone says we live from Ohio, fries are like really good here too. Nice and crispy. But the burger, burger's got a little bit of spice to it. It's that Caribbean, a little bit of Caribbean spice to it. Very good. Hmm. That plantain is really crispy. That's so good. Did you wear it well? Do I wear it well? No, I didn't get any on me yet. Yes, you did. Got the passport to the parks. You got some on you. I got some on me? Yes, that back looks just again. At the bottom. Oh, maybe at the bottom. Okay. Other side. Got the passport to the park shirt on. You guys got to check those out. Get those in the uh, store. PassportToTheParks.com. Greg's Disney Adventures. Welcome. I know next week I think you're coming down here. Bob, can I have the nails? Okay. Can I have the, the fry and the rest of the duck? Can you get it? Oh. Can I do that? Where, where, are, you, where are you going to put it? See, Bridget, do you know where Akron, Ohio is? That's my mom's hometown. Akron was about 30 minutes from where we live. We were near Cleveland. So she's near the, uh, the Football Hall of Fame in Canton. And the Akron Zips football team. Yeah. So yeah, we know that very well. I actually saw, sorry, I got a mouthful. I saw Bon Jovi at the Akron Rubber Bowl Whoa. years ago. Yeah, what else? The Cinderella. It was back in the 80s. 
got a letter back from someone very hmm? important. Michael. What? Michael. Michael what? Yes. Not at Akron. Oh, well, no. That no, was in Cleveland. Cleveland. Making Ryan hungry. <laughs> That's the idea. Yes. We're supposed to. You're supposed to. You're supposed to come down here and eat at the Lux Burger. It was really, really good. We should be sponsors. Sponsors? Give us some free food. It's hard to finish these things. I gather. Only because you can't pick them. Yeah, you can't even pick these things up half the time, so. Are we doing everything good? Yeah, yeah very good. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's huge. It's like as big as my head. <laughs> Seriously. And I got a big head. Very messy. In a neat kind of way. In a neat kind of way. Is yours that messy? They're all messy. Mine seems to be juicier than. Yeah, I got that sauce and the juices mixing all together. Hey, Josh, thank you for the 999 Super Chat. My parents and I will be moving to Windermere in uh, about a month. Cannot wait. You know, I saw that, that you were going to move down here. That's very, very cool. You're going to take a break from school and move down to Florida and try to work for Disney. Super Chat Scream. There's Cammy's Super Chat Scream. Yeah, Windermere is about uh, maybe just uh, maybe 30 minutes or so from me, 20 or 30 minutes for where, I'm at, where I am at. Cammy will go get it. Watch out for that bird. Let's see what else is going on here. You're making your way through your burger. I'm getting there. Look how Cammy's still working on the front. I know. That's Woo. very, very good. That's good stuff. Okay. Go on. You're on camera. You can do it. Time to be a celebrity. Mm. If you hang out with me, you have to make yourself look foolish sometimes. Sometimes. You made your way through that pretty good. I was hungry pretty good. Menu Rager, the gondolas, uh, all I saw was the Hollywood line running today. Epcot is not running, there was a bird which is typical because it's on the weekend. They normally don't uh, do too much over the weekend. Not eat the one in here. That was bad. Uh -huh. And someone threw in Do you want them to tell you how we brand Let's see, Jeffrey, uh, how do I give a super chat? I believe it should say super chat on there. I'm not sure how the user end kind of works. Maybe somebody else... Some of the super chat people on here can can fill uh, Jeffrey in on how to do that. <gasps> I, uh, I do appreciate that, and you'll get a uh, you'll get a cami scream if you do it. So <laughs> everyone wants a cami. Everyone. Liam, the uh, first Tron roller coaster track piece officially installed at the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, they they've definitely been working on the foundation over there. Uh, I just put an article out yesterday, I think. If you go to uh, passporttotheparks.com, you can see uh, everything that's going on with Tron. All the uh, the pillars being installed over there. I got some really awesome video when they actually laid all the foundation overnight. So check that article out, uh, passporttotheparks.com. I don't know if I can get through this whole burger. I don't think so. There's the ice cream. Something you gotta wrap and take home. I took my last burger home too from here. Um, I got your camera a little wet, Dada. I got your camera a little wet. I got a little wet. So I stuck an ice cube, a tiny ice cube, into my straw. I tried getting it in. I tried getting it. And so you got it on my camera? I sped it out because I tried to get out of the straw. So I was like. <laughs> That's okay. You can take it. Have a couple more fries. <laughs> best thing to do is don't order your own fries if you're with people just order one large fry because it's a huge thing of fries sorry it's a giant box of fries that you get and this thing is piled up so you can actually share these with two, with like two or medium. three people easy good. and then the burger I mean the burger is a meal in itself you could share the burger with about two people three people four people <laughs> hey Ryan with the super super chat 499 from Ryan thank you very very much hold on She's chewing, so you get your scream here in a second. Yeah. Yep, that one's for Ryan. Danielle, welcome. I'm doing great. Thanks for being here. Laura, 
Thank you. Ten dollar super chat from uh, Laura. I went to school with Laura oh, really? back in grade school. Yeah. <laughs> There's another cami screen for you. Can't wait to get your hoodie. Oh, you ordered a hoodie too. That's very hoodie. awesome. Hoodie. Did you order the color one? Did you order the uh, the gondola one like this, or the uh, the black and white one? Uh, Laura did. She ordered a passport to the parks hoodie. You I guess. You are me. You are me. Hmm? Hoodies are the best. I know. The hoodies are awesome. What do you think the best thing that your logo is on? The Passport to Parks. What's mm. your favorite thing that's on? The shirt. The shirt. You gotta love the shirt. Again, Modeling Disney designed these shirts. So check out ModelingDisney.com because he is amazing. He's got his own thing going on over there. All kinds of cool. I bet you he's gonna come on later like my he comes on all the time. My sponsorship senses are tingling. But modelingdisney.com, go check out his stuff. He's got all kinds of cool schematic stuff over there. All really good Disney stuff over there. So Laura got the navy and white. Yeah. So that'll look very, very awesome. So you want to tell them how we ran into your friend? Here, you can tell the story. We'll turn it around. Fell away. No, that's right. Find a shoe. Keith, will I be in the parks on July 4th? I don't know. That's usually pretty crazy. No, no. More than likely, I will be to film. We did New Year's Eve once. And that was absolutely insane. They won't let me go to bed. <laughs> we stood on Main Street for four hours straight, stood in a space about this big, in a oh. sea of people because you couldn't move. You just had to get your spot on Main Street, and you had to stand there literally for four hours just Same waiting for, for the, fireworks. the fireworks. I mean, it's worth it because it's amazing. All the fireworks surround you and everything. They it. do the same thing for the 4th of July. Cammie didn't think so. Cammie had a meltdown. She was a lot younger at the time, so. But she's going to tell you the you story. I wanted to go to bed. Okay. So while we were, um, so this is how we first met. So they they already ordered my food. So I was Here, like, hold on. She's gonna take the microphone. We're talking about Michael. Now. Okay. I'll just hold it. Okay. Okay. So I looked like this, and I was looking down, and I passed this guy that really looked like Michael his name and I was like is that him so I kind of turned my head like he didn't see me I didn't think so when they got out here I'm like dad I think I saw M Michael and then he's like really he's here so he goes in he looked and then he's like there's no one that looks like Michael in there hold on excuse me hang on I got more super chats coming in Jeffrey dollar ninety nine <laughs> best friend in August. Very, very cool. Yes. There's your cami screen. And we got one more here. Excuse me. Uh, Jeffrey, you found another one. Found out Whee! how to do it. So two for you, Jeffrey. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> so, I'm like, Dad, I think I saw him. And then he's like, there's no one in there that matched the description after he looked around. And then he texts him. He's like, I'm here right now. Oh, sorry. I'm here right now. So then he's like, I gotta go find him. He stands up. I'm like, no, I shall go. <laughs> so I just run around the restaurant and then he finally comes in and then we walk this area and he's wearing a blue shirt. So I saw his blue shirt. I ran over to their booth to check if it was him. And I pointed at him and I'm like, I knew I saw you. <laughs> so we just talked a while and he's like, I knew I saw you, but your head was down. So I couldn't really tell until you saw looked at the last minute. Hang on, I gotta come real quick. Laura's asking, uh, are my parents still here? Yes, there's my mom right there, my dad's Hi mom. there, hi there, hi there. Do you remember um, her grandmother, Mrs. Dan? Yes, of course. St. Mary's? Yes, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's my dad. Hi, kiddo, you look a tad bit older. What are you now, 24? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. 24. There you go. Forever. I'm 24? I have a, grand a godson who's like 50-some. And I keep telling Grandpa he's 24. <laughs> He'll always be 24. Um, I'm not 24 yet. I hope not. Thank you very much. Drop the mic. So anyway, we're talking about Michael. ThemeParkBrothers.com. So go check Michael out. Michael's with Theme Park Brothers. He has a 
two really, really great kids, and they do all kinds of uh, park videos as well. Michael and I have been friends for a very long time, even before I moved down here. But uh, check him out, themeparkbrothers.com, and he's got YouTube as well, Theme Park Brothers. Uh, a lot of fun over there, so really awesome family. Laura said she is 24. I knew it. She looks 24. <laughs> I knew it. Just like Hattie's 24. No? Yes. Okay. You'll be 24 forever. He's you guys are killing kid. me. Every time I take a bite, I get a super chat. <laughs> okay, tell me how much. From Zoe, Zoe and Sarge. Hopefully I got that right. $5 super chat. Love the channel from Texas. Texas? Yeah. I love my, Texas. My nephew lives in Texas. Which part of Texas? Tyler. Tyler, Texas. Tyler, Texas, my nephew lives in. Well, guess what? I need a report on Texas. That's right. Cammie did an entire school report on Texas. Because it sounded cool. So what'd you get on it? I got an A. Yeah, she got an A on it, too. She did amazing. I got an 18 out of 20. Or did I get a 20 out of 20? I think I got 20 out of 20. 20 out of 20. You get an A on everything you do. Pretty close. Pretty close. Very close. Very close. That's Grandpa there because she's smart. Hey, Myra, Paul, and Joshua. Hello, way too sun. Rob, keep eating. You'll be rich in no time. And apparently, every time I take a bite, I get a super chat. So everyone, you have to donate twenty dollars every time you take a bite. No, don't do that. You don't have to donate a thing. It's much appreciated. Yes, it is, everyone. It's not. It's like a uh, like a drinking game. Every time you take a bite. Oh, you get it. <laughs> you get a, a super chat. Interesting. Every time you take. But I can't eat that fast, so. I can. Cammy, can you? Got your food down. She did a number on these fries. Yes, that was two containers of fries. Thank you very much. Yeah, we actually had two of these, and they're gone. But I had a Thai burger as well. I was very hungry. Did you get enough to eat? And drink. Very good. Let's see Zoe and Sarge from San Antonio. Ooh. Texas, uh, greatest city in Texas. Yeah. That's right. Never been there, but. If you say so, then it is. We sat for four hours in Dallas. Yes, we did. Yeah, I went to uh, Dallas Fort Worth for a layover on a flight once to Denver. That's the only time I've been into uh, Texas. But you were in Denver. That's right. See, Scott Phillips, issue a challenge uh, to finish the burger in one bite. <laughs> Maybe $50 super chat. Oh, you think so? $50, come uh, on. No, that's not even. I can do it. That's um, a safe bet on your part. Here, hold on. Remember, I had a, uh, I had a gastric bypass, so <laughs> I can't take giant bites of anything, or I will literally explode. I can so eat all this this does not go into something that's this big. And I don't it has to go in slowly. I don't know where I parked my car. That's right. The fifty dollars. Greg, uh, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the thumbs up, uh, that notification bell, and share the stream to social media. Rob is so amazing. Thank you, Greg. He is very amazing. I know you're coming down. We are definitely gonna get together and finally uh, meet. We'll check out the gondolas or something. I think Cammie wants to come too. She's hyperventilating over there. No, I just want to come. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, Bill had a gastric bypass too. Very good. So definitely the way to go. Looking good. Looking good. You guys almost done? I'm done. You're done. Um, You're done. Remember that mixed buddy food? Buddy food. Yeah. I think I gotta wrap mine up. This is as far as I can go. I think that's it. I'm gonna take that home. No. But can you go inside and ask for a to-go thing or a sheet of paper to wrap a burger in? 
Maybe see if they'll give you something. Box or bag or something. Yeah, some kind of to-go container. Crazy Domo, where uh, where can we get Passport to the Parks hats? You know, all I have is the shirts and cups and things like that. That's the company I'm using. Uh, that's all they can print right now. Hats, there's another company that I'm looking at, but it'll be separate. So I do want to get some. This hat I actually had printed up in Ohio years ago. So this is uh, two hats. My dad has the other hat as well. And I think Michael actually has a hat. Michael has one of these too. Two hats. Three hats. But um, I definitely will uh, look at getting those because I'd like to get some new ones for myself. Okay, so what do we got here? Do you like to get one that doesn't get stained and worn out? Yeah, this one I've been wearing it so much, it's completely worn Can I out. Can ask a question? Sure. Can anyone tie a knot in a cherry stem without using your, um, like with your, using your tongue? With your tongue? Can you tie a knot with a cherry stem using your tongue? Yeah. That's the big thing, huh? Can you do it? No. I, mean, I don't like cherry stones. Don't do it, Rod. I don't know. I, not me. Somebody I know gets to do it. I think it was Joe. <laughs> I will definitely look at the hats, guys. I will. Uh, let's see, Alyssa, or Alyssa Gondolas did great Epcot. Not sure exactly what you're saying there, so... Hey, there's Cammie. Brett, I am two weeks out from having the sleeve. Very, very cool. See, all these kind of people are... Everybody's having these done. It's a, it's a life-changing thing. It makes you a lot healthier. You guys are definitely going to... Definitely going to be good when you have it. Or if you've already had it. What's that? You are not doing, keeping up with these comments. No, I, sometimes I get a behind here. Uh, let's see here. Scott, spoke with Disney travel agent about trips down later this year. Specifically asked them if the Skyliner would be running in August. Of course, they gave the standard answer, but sounded positive. That's all we can do right now. Disney's official word is the fall. Someone said, what, Cammy? It says, boiled and sassy. Yeah. When are they coming? They're supposed to open in the fall, but I mean, you look around, you look at Hollywood Studios, and you would have to think maybe a little earlier than that. And when are they coming down? They're coming down in August, so hopefully by you could luck out in August. I'm fingers crossed for August. Did they start Epcot? Did they start Epcot? Yes, they have the Epcot line running. Check, I got a couple videos up, so check those out. I said start, start. Um, yeah, Epcot is definitely running. No, no unwrapped gondolas, but they have a full uh, complement of gondolas going back and forth. Need some merch in brown and orange. Woo! That's right. Oh, yeah, brown and orange. I should do some browns passport to the park stuff. Yeah. I like that. Let's see. Love uh, how your daughter loves and hates Space Mountain. Yes, she loves it, but sometimes she chickens out. I chicken out all the time. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put my sandwich in the bag. Yeah, I'll keep up with your comments. Um, Skyliner Epcot. Liney? I can't see that. Um, I believe she's asking about the, the Skyliner at Epcot, so. Uh, I'm definitely going to do the Taste of Magic Kingdom tour in July. That would be pretty cool. I have never done that, but that sounds really good. You need help? Greg, uh, hey Rob, would love to see uh, Yeehaw Bob with you guys at Port Orleans. You know, we've never it's seen so Yeehaw Bob live. That is definitely on our list of things to do, so we will have to, uh, to figure that out and maybe we'll go do that. Crazy Dome of the company I share with uh, has orange hats. I use them a lot for great uh, embroidery work. The company I share with you has orange Oh, okay, you're going to share that with me. Very cool. I'm giving. <laughs> so 
So Scott asked the agent, she sounded a little confused, but I asked if one of the gondolas would have a Rob Passport to the Parks wrap on it. <laughs> That's funny. He said he was familiar with you, but probably not. Well, that's cool. At least he was familiar with me. I mean, you get, if anybody's heard about the Skyliner, I'm sure has seen one of my videos out there at some point. Is it out here? So, so I'm going to turn you around and we're going to take a look at some of this view out here because... Love the idea. Passport to the Parks Gondola. Passport to the Parks Gondola. I like that idea too. Do you think the landscaping at the Graham... Um, this tower will be finished Lands by at the Grand Destino Tower will be finished by July 12th. Uh, well, everything's going to be open by July 9th, so I definitely think everything will be done by the 12th. The landscaping and everything, they're currently working on that now. Uh, I was just there a couple days ago, and I just put an article out on Passport uh, this morning that's got all kinds of great pictures, beautiful pictures. Uh, they're landscaping, they're doing the walkways and everything around the tower now, so they're going to be done definitely by uh, July. Uh, beginning of July, the restaurant could possibly even open in June if they uh, if they get far enough. It's supposed to open with the tower, but it may open early in June. He's so fun to watch. He's so full of energy. Are you talking about me or him? <laughs> what, what did you see here? He's, okay. he's so fun to watch. He's full of energy. Uh, maybe he's talking about me. You're not full of energy. I'm full of energy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Joe, hey, how are you? I know you're talking about him, but like... <laughs> No-brainer 60. WDW uh, says that the Disney Skyliner sign was installed at the Hollywood Studios. And that's what I'm hearing on here. Um, I didn't actually run through the parking lot today, so maybe we'll have to swing by there and, uh, and check that out on the way home. We'll get some, uh, get some video of that. Oh, so, very cool. We'll see if we can check that out. This view before. Yeah, this is a great view. This is another good thing about Deluxe over here, is you can sit right out on the on the porch. deck, on the porch. You can get your burger inside. You can sit inside, but there's great seating out here and it's literally right on the uh, on the springs. Great breeze. Yeah, it's a beautiful breeze. I mean, it's perfect out here. Really pretty music in the background. All right, so we're gonna try to clean this table up a little bit because this is what you're left with after you're done. Liam asking what I'd like to see in the fifth park. You asked me this before, and... A lot of people said heroes versus uh, villains. Yeah, I always throw out there, the heroes versus villains is the one that's floated around out there for the last 15 years, which would be cool. Marvel obviously would be awesome if they could ever figure out the, uh, the rights, but I think I would like to see something announced with uh, other entities with like Fox. Since they did the Fox purchase, they have so many other uh, entities out there now besides Disney, so it doesn't have to be a park just with Disney um, owned characteristics with it. Use things that you're not used to. Get something new and fresh and original uh, with all that Fox, all those Fox Fantasmic properties. Land. Fantasmic. Well, that's part of it because Fox has Fantasmic. Because I want Fantasmic. Or the Fantastic and Four. Like it's like basically everything is taken over by the villain. As up to the heroes to stop. Yeah, well, that would be like a heroes versus villains thing. It would yeah. be very cool. You could have a, like a really dark and creepy area, you know, creepy woods and everything for the villains. There. You know, crazy roller coasters and stuff. And the heroes, you can have a, you can be very bright and there's all kinds of stuff you can do. But that fifth gate, no matter what the fifth gate is, definitely the Skyliner is going to have to run into it. There's going to be a fifth gate? There's talk. D23, you might get an announcement for a fifth gate. It's everybody's. D23. It's where Disney announces all the stuff that they're going to do in the near future. Um, Greg is actually, Greg's Disney Adventures is actually going to D23. So he is going to keep us up to date with uh, everything that's coming out of there. So we're really looking forward to what he has to say. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, Greg. No brainer. Fantastic. Fantasmic Four. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic Four. Sorry. However, I say that right. <laughs> But D23, look for some announcements with the uh, Skyliner as well. I think there's going to be some big announcements coming out of there for expansions. There's talk, you know, of different phases. But I think uh, you're going to see a larger style of gondola maybe coming. There's, if you look on the internet, there's all kinds of gondolas out there that hold 30 and more passengers. And I bet you Disney's going to try to really shock some people with you know the next phase of this and how many people you can actually carry in these gondolas and a, maybe a really large gondola 
uh, that could possibly go to the Magic Kingdom. There's a ton of people that come out of there, or if they announce a fifth gate, you know, that would go in, in and out of that fifth gate as well. So. Someone said, um, park with lots. Okay, Village Park would um, with lots of big roller coasters, and, like one in every different eye and of the park. Yeah, that would be awesome too. I mean, the sky's the limit for what they could do. I will share everything that comes on. Yes, it's gonna show everything that comes. Let's see, Liam, uh, a Reflections Resort. Oh, you guys are talking about the um, over at River Country. Mm -hmm. You guys want to look through here? Look through the binoculars? I don't think that'll work. Hey, yeah, kind of work there. That's Cammy's binoculars. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna clean this up so we can get moving along here. I'm gonna back up. You're behind. Oh. All right, let's see if we can get going here. Always gotta clean up after yourself. Doesn't take too long. Garbage can's right over there. Can you take that tray over to the garbage can? Sure I can. Oh, I was talking to Cammy, but. I know. Okay. We're gonna go throw that away. Bill, my parents are here till Monday. They go back on Monday to Ohio. They've been here for about th uh, three weeks. Liam, I would like to see a wooden coaster for Frontierland. Yeah. Yeah, like an old wooden style coaster, like uh, from like Cedar Point. That kind of looks like kind of broken school. down. Yeah, kind of broken down and stuff. That would be cool. Is anyone here Irish? <laughs> Is anybody Irish? I'm sure there's some Irish people on here. Because we just went to Irish store. No, yeah, we went to Raglan Road. And that was a lot of fun over there. Uh, no brainer. They're building so many new resorts with already packed parks. They need to do a fifth gate. Yeah, I think we're all in agreement on that. And hopefully, I think Disney, I really think that they're probably listening to that. I mean, it has to be sometime in the near future that they build that fifth gate. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. Let me get out of here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. I can't really bird watch, so I'm just kind of people watching. You're people watching? What? I did not give you permission to record me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am your permission. Joe, we're at uh, Deluxe Burger. Yeah, Laura, I, I didn't want to say your, your last name on here, so I'm, but I will, I will tell them. They do remember you. Definitely remember Mrs. Den, too. She did the, uh, the supplies, right? She, um, I remember going to get school supplies and stuff from, from her. Hi, Birdie. Find it? We'll walk through this way. We're going to head out. Can you grab the bag and... But I actually found something at the Irish store. What'd you find? Remember? Oh, yeah. Scotty. Yeah, we're going to get another thing on the shelf. Like an elf on the shelf, but it's the Irish version. Irish Let's see the purse. This is Grandma's. That's Grandma's Small World purse. I love it. Isn't that awesome? And then this is Dad's to go. Yeah, to go bag. Here, throw this away. Make sure everything's cleaned off here. That bird right there. She come through this way? All right, I guess we're waiting. Uh, my mom is roaming around somewhere, so we're gonna wait a couple minutes for her to come back. If you guys want to hang out with me, that's cool. I mean, you can't beat the view.
Crazy Domo, you said remove Storybook Land once, and I swear the internet attacked you. Oh, Storybook Land over at uh, uh, Disneyland. Yeah, that's... You might get attacked for that one. That's like pulling Peter Pan out or something. Hello, what you looking at? Hang on, there's all kinds of stuff going on here and I'm missing it. Liam, Zootopia to replace Rafiki's Planet Watch and Indiana Jones to replace Dino Land. What? Now, I heard about Zootopia replacing Rafiki, but I didn't hear Indiana Jones replacing Dino Land. I love Indiana Jones. Interesting. So, Indiana Jones over at the Animal Kingdom. But Zootopia How the internet swirls Rafiki, with these though. rumors, I know. Rafiki is well, being the Zootopia by... thing, I think, would be kind of cool. Dino Land, I don't know. I like Dino Land, but. Oh, that's Dino I can see Indiana Jones, the adventure. Yeah, yeah over at Animal Kingdom. Oh, Cammy's not for that. She's against it. No! You've already upset my daughter, Liam, so thank no! you very much. No, I love Dino Land. I didn't know who we were talking about. She liked you up until about three seconds ago. All right, there's Grandma. Oh, there's <coughs> we're going to go this way. Yeah, we'll go get on the cart and we'll find yeah, some out here. Mm -hmm. Liam, you crushed my soul. <laughs> James Gray Jr. and her hashtag the Gray Wolf Clan. That's a very long name, but cool name. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Liam would like to see Coco replace the three Caballeros in the Mexico Pavilion. Okay, yeah. The, the, see, I don't know about that either. We'll go this way. The three Caballeros always keeps breaking down though. See, I'm old school though. I like the three Caballeros. I know it's good, but Coco. Yeah, Coco's popular. Coco. See, I, you don't want to replace every single thing with what's popular. I mean, you got to leave some classic Disney. But I'm really sad about the Indiana Jones replacing the Dino because as long as they have games, I don't care, actually. <gasps> I wish they didn't have to replace a lot of things. I wish they could add and make new things. Why can't they just paint? Just paint? That's all they have to do is paint? Paint them to a different thing. Like, that's what they did at SeaWorld. Like, ooh. Hey, that opens. There you go, that opens. There was one area that I always like to go, but then it was the anniversary, the 50 year, 50 year anniversary of Elmo. So they just painted it over everything and it was Elmo. <laughs> and then, ah, I had to be in there for like 20 There you go. Well, that's that's SeaWorld. Yeah. Disney does things a little different. They just don't slap paint on things. But the Ellen ride, the Ellen ride. They invest about $400 million dollars and they, uh, the great movie ride they change and things Ellen. around. Yeah, don't get us started on the great movie ride. And Ellen. All right. Mom and Dad have the carts here, so they're going to jump on board. I'm going to walk out here for a second. We'll take a quick look around while they get their, their scooters in order. Susan, I have not been back in the Magic Kingdom for a while. I, I tend to spend a lot of my time outside of the parks. Uh, a lot of people go in the parks and do live streams and stuff. Um, Resort TV One, they're awesome for, for really doing a lot of live streams and stuff. So I tend to stay out of the parks. Uh, obviously the Skyliner and stuff I love, but the resorts, Disney Springs, I definitely go in there every once in a while, but I don't know, I just feel more relaxed out here. I have, uh, it's a lot more laid back and a lot of people tend to enjoy seeing the outer parts of Disney and it's just kind of my thing out here. But yeah, I definitely want to go in there and see how it's uh, been configured. I'll keep track of Tron and uh, the stuff that's going on inside there. It's just not an everyday thing for me. Way too sun, yeah, the great movie ride. That was a bummer. Mickey's gonna be cool, but I think it could have been cool somewhere else or maybe in its own building somewhere. And the great movie ride, I wish could have stayed. Joe, I uh, always love the content. Thanks for doing it. You're very, very welcome. Hello. Hello, you getting hot? Yeah. We're out in the sun now. We're in the very, desert. Very, very sunny, very, very blue today. Hey, Mickey Sightings, welcome. 
the Tactical Traveler. Disney Springs is awesome. Street Cred 31. Uh, GMA and GPA scooter cam. Ah, the scooter cams. That's what we need. Scooter cam. Here they come. We need a scooter cam, everyone. Need to put a camera on board so you get a scooter cam. Which way do you want to head? All right, we're just going to cruise around for a little bit, I guess. What are you in the mood to see? Tourists. Come on. They're tourists? They're not tourists. They've been here a lot. I am. You're a tourist. All right, we'll head down that way. Yes. No, she got her purse in uh, Disney style. Yeah, that's where we're going, right? No, we're heading to uh, the Disney store. Oh, I like that more. I love the shirt. Oh, it's a shirt. He doesn't care. It's uh, Autobots. The Transformers. <laughs> but what's it called mixed body thing? We found it's fifty dollars, guys. Yeah, the uh, the Irish uh, elf on a shelf in there was like fifty bucks. But don't worry, everyone, because I got a gift card for Christmas for fifty dollars. That's right, Cam. He's got a gift card. She can go back and get it. So all we gotta do is pay for tax. Bill wants to see the Art of Disney Store. That's on the uh, the opposite end. That's my favorite store on all property, actually. So I have no problem. Checking that out, we'll head that way. As long as the brutal sun goes down. As long as the what? The brutal sun goes well, down. Well, we'll just try to stay in some shade here, so. Brutal sun is horrible. I was about to say this brutal shade. The brutal shade is horrible. <laughs> They're coming. They're usually ahead of us on those scooters, so we'll get a little bit of a jump on them. I like to catch love bugs. There's a ton of love bugs. They're getting a little better now. They're starting to go away, but they're still around. A lot of pretty fountains down through. Uh, this is kind of the, the landings area, they call this. So Disney Springs is now broken up into three sections. You have the old West End, which is down by Search of Soleil. Through here is the landings, which is all like the newer, higher end shops. A lot of the shopping through here. And then you have the marketplace, which is down. I have good luck now. You have good luck water on your hand? Yeah. Marketplace is the, the old um, downtown Disney area. So we're currently in the landings and we're gonna be heading into the marketplace. Do you get a lucky penny? Oh, a lucky love bug? These are the famous love bugs that are uh, get the, out of the shadow here. This is a mom and a baby. So that's what happens. They're love bugs because they are joined with each other. They always have a little mate. Or a child. And they fly around together like that. And there's usually billions of them. Yes. So look at how cute they are. A lot of people say they should be eradicated, but they're beautiful. Yeah, they're fine. Another really pretty fountain right in front of the Lime Garage. Take your time, buddy. Get up. It's still, this thing still has People always got to get pictures with the, the Disney balloons over here. It's always a lot of fun. It tickles when they crawl in Oh, no. I actually squished it a little. Hey, we got another super chat coming in. Another one from uh, from Jeffrey Hampshire, Hampshire, dollar ninety nine super chat. Uh, been watching the Skyliner videos. Uh, thank you for watching those. Those are like some of my favorite to do. So, Dad. Thank you again for the super chat. Very much appreciated. I'll scream in a minute about Dad. 
Oh, you're really getting them all now. He's getting coated by the... All right, we need a super chat scream. <laughs> I haven't been doing them too loudly anymore because first I lost my... First I lost my voice when I had to do all that evil laughing in my play. Yeah? And then a lot of people complain about the noise. A lot of people complain about the what? The noise. Like, people don't like when there's a lot of noise in there. Yeah. But it's mainly because of the play. I was Jafar in that play and I had to keep evil cackling. <sighs> that fun. See, Liam, they might, uh, properties like Alien Encounter, which I think Disney believe would never fit in the Disney parks, but for a permanent horror attraction. Ooh, they're talking about maybe a horror attraction. That's a good idea too. Yeah. To have like a horror land. And again, you can use really cool stuff with the, the 20th Century Fox stuff. Because, yeah, I think they do have aliens. I'm sure you guys are talking about it in the chat here, and I'm not paying attention, but... Aliens? Like an alien encounter ride coming back. I love it. Hey, Disney Store? But yeah, having a horror, um, at least part of a land is being horror-based. And not like Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party, but like really, really good horror what? kind of stuff. Mickey's not... Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween? Halloween's supposed to be scary. Did you guys want to go in here or did mom? Or do you want to keep going down this way? Did you want to go through here or come down further? We're going to head towards the Art of Disney store. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But Halloween's supposed to be scary. I know it's supposed to be scary. Disney does the, the G-rated version of it. And I think maybe they could uh, they could step it up a little bit. Because Alien Encounters was the thing for like if you wanted to get scared of Disney. But then they're like, oh, it's too bad for people. We can't do it. Alien Encounters seemed a little too intense at the time, but it was one of my favorite attractions there. I loved it. Yeah. I would love to see it come back. Yeah. Now look at the uh, the um, right okay, now time of what's scary. Okay, thank you so much. It's a little bit crowded through here today, so I think Grandma and Grandpa are going to have a couple minutes to get through. Good? So sometimes we got to travel with the group. And also Hopefully my signal will not break up through here. I'm getting towards the center of the building. If I do break up a little bit, guys, I'll get out of the building here shortly, so just bear with me. That circus was something to be scared of. Yeah. Not a big circus person? Okay, first, no, and then second, did you hear why they closed it? Closed the circus? Why? Because a lion literally took a, killed a panther and then took its leg out on stage. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess they're going to look at something here. So, yeah. Oh, you want to look at a shirt? Okay. So that's why you should be scared of the circus. See, want a cat or a shirt? What are we doing? Well, how about if we just keep walking, we'll go down to the Art of Disney, and then we'll, we'll actually stop and shop on the way back. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. okay. So be scared of the circus, Dan. Okay. Yes, we'll be scared of the circus. Be scared of the circus. Ready? I'm dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dancing? <laughs> Aww. No, it's Figaro. It's Figaro from Pinocchio. Yes, it is. That's the Aristocrats. Yes, Aristocats, and that's Figaro. It's got to be Figaro. No, it's not. I guess everything is Aristocat. No, see, there's Figaro right there. 
It's just all the cats, different kind of cats. It's all the cats from Disney. I don't know. Dog There's dog ones and too. Stitch was on it. Stitch is, oh yeah, he is a dog, isn't he? Yeah. They Lilo's just dog. Him as a right. Dog. So that like, is funny. He was considered a dog. We're just gonna call the dog. Speaking of Stitch, he will be right out. So I have a question for the whole chat. Way Too Sun, I guess, is leaving, so uh, thank you for being here, Way Too Sun. If I didn't miss you, thank you for being here. Okay. Ah! Uh, Stitch is going to blast us with water. Oh, he's already spitting. Yeah. Everybody's getting spit on. So, I have a question for the whole chat. So, I asked this a few um, vlogs ago, but hero versus villain, who, um, who do you like more? Who do you like more for heroes and villains? Yeah, like heroes or villains. Like who's your hero, favorite hero? Who's your favorite villain? Heroes or villains? Oh, do you like heroes more? Or do you like villains more? You gotta go with villains. Villain yes! I mean, everybody loves villains. Everyone went with heroes. Everybody goes with heroes? Yeah. Villains are so much better. Hey, Matt's here, uh, Faye and Casey. And uh, his lovely wife, Claire. Very cool. Oh, okay. OMG, there was a hurricane. You can smell the chocolate. There was a Hercules shirt that said the muscle, and he was like flexing. And then there was a Meg shirt right next to him, and he said the muse. <laughs> the muscle and the muse? Yeah. Hercules and Meg, that's pretty good. Face paint. Yes, the face paint. I haven't done it in so long. Let me see how much the face paint is. Hold on, Grandma. We're gonna check the face paint. Face paint. Which one do you like? I really like the purple. Which one? The purple one? It's cute. Is that the one? There's a butterfly. Did you see the butterfly one? That's really pretty. But I think I like this. So the music mania? Yeah, I think she's going to get one. Okay. Which one are you going to get? Music mania. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done this in so long, guys. How are you guys gonna stick around for some face painting here? Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. I'd like to do the music mania. And then whatever she'd like. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's for her. All right, you hold that for a second. All right. Oh, got a super chat. It's um, one ninety nine. He said he loves Disney Springs. Yay! All right, who's it from? It's kind of hard to read sometimes. No, 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 no. All right, Hang on one second here. Would you like your receipt? Yeah, please. Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, it's J.W. Dasso did the super chat. Thank you so much, $1.99. Thank you very, very much. Cammy's been asking for the face paint for so long. And it's always late at night. So at least it's during the day now, so she'll be able to keep it. Right? Yeah. Don't talk. You'll mess it up. <laughs> Don't touch it. You'll soil it. Don't blink. Don't smile. Don't breathe. 
ever get done, and this young lady here do it, and then you're going to brag about her. Yeah. And then you know, you're going to get more business to see what you do I don't think they need advertising for business here. Well, I'm thinking not. I guess the girl who knows how to paint actually went on break, because I'm not sure what she's doing to you right now. Looks pretty funny. So you guys are still talking about the parks here. Rumors of the new land uh, says it's the new park size of Epcot without the water could be the possible fifth gate. Oh, these little bugs land on you. Yeah. Jeffrey, dollar ninety nine super chat. Hope uh, hope I can get a pick with you in August. That would be awesome. Definitely let me know. Email robpassporttotheparks.com. Let me know right before you come. We'll try to make that happen. Laura says you're going to be beautiful. I kind of believe her. Doing a good job. You look very musical. <laughs> Extreme close up. Jesse says you look so amazing. Crazy Domi, you guys are being very chatty today. That's fine. Chat amongst yourselves. I try to go back and catch up on some of these comments. I love when you guys are talking about the uh, the fifth gate here too. Bill, is Cammy's favorite color purple? That's my niece's favorite color. What is your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Followed by purple. Liam, Disney, Fox, Marvel, and Pixar villains versus heroes. No, Pixar villains versus heroes. That might be kind of cool, too. Maybe not just Disney. James, his daughter likes the, uh, the hair wraps that they do here. Crazy Domo. I think Disney is worried about the Marvel rights too much. Uh, they might be working on negotiations, but who knows? A fifth gate is coming, but it will be a new spoke design with more than one theme. A lot of different uh, theories and opinions about this fifth gate. Let's hope we get some kind of cool announcement at D23. Exactly how I felt when I was playing guitar. Right? Oh, you are beautiful. I look amazing. Nice big smile. You're so pretty. How can you not love that face? <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it.
Beautiful. Now she's happy. Might want to watch your hat though. Don't put your head on over top of it. Real careful. See, Nev is going to be here in uh, in two days. Very cool. Where are you staying? Ready? Yeah. All right. Very good. Nice talking with you. Nice talking. All right. Thanks. Passport to the park. Thank you. There you go. I'll give you one too. I don't have a business card yet, but you will. That's right. And we're his grandparents. <laughs> and we're his great grandparents. So, grandparents, mother and father, come in. All right. We're going to try to keep moving on here. Of course, the, uh, the grandparents love to chit chat with everybody. They said that you were their grandchild, um, and I was their great grandchild. <laughs> I'm their child, you are their grandchild. You got a little bit of, on your tooth, you got some of the lipstick. Hang on, don't lick it off. There you go. That's exactly how I felt while I was playing your Like They were just like, okay, hold still. Except I know. They didn't really touch my chin. The tactical this. traveler does not look extremely busy today. No, it is not. I mean, if you look around, it's a very nice daytime adventure through here. Not a whole lot of people. We have to wait for Grandpa. I know. They're back there yapping still. No? Oh, there's Grandma. She made it out. Jay, hope to catch you in September. It will be a slower week, uh, just your wife and I. Yeah, September's great to be here. I used to come down in September and October when we traveled down here from Ohio. What's that? Sort of. Sort of. Here's the cute little train that they have that runs through Disney Springs for the little tykes. You basically buy tokens and you can take a ride around the train. They also have the little uh, the little merry-go-round over here. So we're pretty far down on the marketplace side right here. A lot of pin training through here. Grandma was like, oh, there's a little train. You want to ride it? You don't want to ride the train? Okay. We're going to take a quick look in here. I know a lot of people love the uh, the pin trading, so okay. the parents want to come in here and find something as well. I need to dress up as a villain after this. A villain with a musical face? Yes. I look like I'd be a Disney villain. Do I look like a hero to you? Uh, you can be kind of shady. Oh, that's cute like already. Want, a lot of cute stuff here. Alice in Wonderland. Hit a like if you want that to happen. He'll post it on Facebook, right? Darkwing Duck Tailspin. Oh, they have the DuckTales too. Yes. This is the newer DuckTales yeah. though. Muppet Babies, check that out. That is so cool. I saw that. I'm like, where's dad? I don't know who they are. I love all this. Oh, yeah, definitely. They don't got the old school uh, DuckTales in here. This is the new version of it. Yeah, they do. I love old school. Oh, they have the thing that replaces the great movie. Yeah, it's all the new Mickey stuff. Here's Oswald with an American flag. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Coco got a hold of a Star Wars trooper. Coco and Star Wars all together. There's a porg. A porg? It's a flying porg. Porg and R2, that's cool. It's a flying porg. Tactical Traveler, certainly you wish that you were here today instead of being at work. I wish that's you were here nice. too, trust me. That's why I kind of do this, because I, I used to sit at work too and watch a lot of these uh, Disney live streams and all that kind of cool stuff. So definitely enjoy it. Hopefully I can take you out of the, uh, the 
work mode and get you into Disney mode for a little bit here. This is one of the uh, the best places to come for pins, definitely. Excuse me. That's cute. See the up with the balloons? The grape soda pin, that was pretty popular. That's cute. And the mailbox, look at all this great stuff. Aww. This is good. I like that a lot. Don He's in a fall mood. That is classic Donald Duck. Donald's mixtape. Don't you get the reference? Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. I get it. That's a cute Oswald. Look at that. a super, super pretty princess. You want to tell them what they were going to do to What they were going to do to Princess Leia? Yeah. Were they going to make her into a pretty princess? They were going to take out her bun. Yeah. Give her straight hair and replace her normal gown with like a pink fluffy one. They can't do that to Princess Leia. She's bad to the bone. Yeah. She should wear this. You know, wear this. Wear this. Yeah. Leather jacket. No, it's be leather. Woo! Oh, oh, Rainbow Unicorn. She had a shirt and it said famous on it and it had the unicorn next to her. I really wanted to get that. And then there was also a hat that said famous. <laughs> it was in the D Disney one. They got Bo Peep now from uh, Toy Story. <gasps> they got then, Alice in the teacup up here. That's cool. In the plushies. Oh, okay, they have yet. Yes, oh, from uh, Wreck It Ralph? Yeah. Ralph breaks the internet. <gasps> hey, there's Jafar. Look at that. I <laughs> really. Do you guys want to see what I did with my feet? Cammy just played Jafar in the school play. She did an amazing do you job. you want to see what I do with my feet? What do you do? You love Jafar, don't you? Yeah. We'll come back. I was like this, ready? <laughs> see if we can find Grandma and Grandpa, see if they got what they needed. Super powered Cammy. I think they're still looking around. Jeffrey, got my Disney fix at Disneyland last week, but looking forward to Disney World. That is awesome. You got to go to Disneyland last week? Still yet to actually go to Disneyland. Want to get there someday. The dad. Hang on. Crazy Domo, I almost think the name should be something like uh, Diz Yes Discovery Kingdom or something uh, in general, larger concept of discovering new worlds, Zootopia, Marvel, X-Men, Fox franchises. There's some really, really great ideas that you guys have here. Diz, Disney Discovery Kingdom. Discovery Kingdom, and it should be like what I think too is have like everything Riddle. outside of like Disney, like with the Fox and everything. You can actually discover all kinds of new kingdoms and new adventures. Zootopia, Marvel, X Men, Fox franchises. That is a great idea, Crazy Dome. I like that a lot. So, this is what I was going to say. Who doesn't love Jafar? Everybody loves Jafar. You love to hate him. And when I saw that there was a live action Aladdin when I played Jafar and I saw the first thing of it, I was like, oh, I want to see it, I want to see it, I want to see it. See, Liam, and the main attraction is rumored for this new park is a journey from the center of the Earth ride <gasps> from Disney Sea. Yes, I love that ride so much. Yeah, you guys I are making my mouth water for new Disney stuff here. This is awesome. I'm going to have to go back after this video and, and read a lot of these comments, what you guys have been talking about. Laura, her, girl, her girls love the pins. Do they also love yeah, I tell you, a lot of people love to collect these pins. There's so many very, very cool pins they have out there now. Does anyone here love Jafar? Anybody love Jafar? We'll ask. Please. Deb, I'm staying at uh, Disney's Caribbean Beach. It's a great resort. You're going to love it. You probably told me that in the past. Now that I, I think I asked you that before, actually. James, do we, we live here? 
Uh, no, I wish I actually lived in Disney Springs, not exactly here, but no, we live about 20 minutes from here. Yes, so that's why here. we have the opportunity to come here so much. We actually moved from Ohio specifically to come down here to be near Disney because we love it so much and to get away from digging ourselves out of, you know, six inches of ice every single morning for six months straight. Cammie's watching over uh, Grandma and Grandpa's scooters for him. Your food is in here. Yeah, thank you. You can have that for dinner later. Yeah, so... Did anyone say they like Jafar? Uh, I didn't say anything about Jafar yet. Yeah. Matt's going to be here 95 days. See, Greg, uh, congrats on my 9,601 subs, 399 away from 10,000 subs. I'm almost at that 10K subs. I'm going to be up with you one day. Cammy's over 60,000 on Cammy TV. Not get yeah, I'll catch you. Don't worry. It's my goal. But thanks for pointing that out, Greg. Yeah, I'm almost there. I can't His wait to get to 10,000. to beat me when I am here. He is here. I love that name, Disney's Discovery Kingdom. I really love it. I would be all for if that was the name. Oh, there's Grandma and Grandpa. There's Grandma and Grandpa, okay. They're still looking in here. What'd you find? Hey, there's Genie. Oh, is that the, oh, that's the Will Smith Genie. Yeah. They got the new Genie pin, look at that. But I, I love, um, what's called, the, the Funko Pop of Jafar. The best. We got um, Captain Marvel. There's a Coronado Springs. That's a nice Coronado Springs. That looks new. I wonder if that's getting closer to what the newer logo is going to look like. Do I have like. face paint like right here? You have glitter and stuff, but yeah, there's face paint there. Don't scratch. I'm not trying to like, stab it. Like yeah. Go ask Grandma and Grandpa if they're doing okay. They're right there, straight ahead. Tell them I'm gonna walk around like uh, a couple of these stores and I'll be right back. All right, we'll check out a couple different stores while we're waiting here. So you guys just aren't staring at the floor with me. Matt, uh, that face paint was $18. They range from, I think the cheapest is like 14 or so up to like 18 or 20, depending on, you know, what version you get or, you know, how in depth the, uh, the face paint actually is. But that particular one was 18 that we got. Where would that be? So this is trend for obvious reasons with the name. It's very trendy uh, clothing in here. A lot of cute stuff, some cool Epcot stuff back there. Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom. So this actually leads into the co-op, which is a series of little stores through here. I believe they have a D-Tech through here. They got some luggage, uh, some other clothing things through here, some artwork. You got some really nice artwork in here. That is a nice Moana right there. A lot of retro uh, theme park stuff over here. Cool hat box ghost. 20,000 leagues. Journey into imagination. This is a really, really great stuff here. That's a really nice Snow White there. Snow White's Adventures, I miss that ride a lot. Mad Tea Party, Orange Bird. This is great artwork through here. It's very uh, youthful kind of whimsical and fresh. I like this. 
Cammy really loves these uh, princess paintings over here too. A lot of different great stuff. Oh, this is really nice with Jasmine. That's really cool. Cinderella crying at the ball. Over in Hollywood Studios, they got some really nice uh, Princess Leia ones like that as well. See a lot of these dresses through the parks. A lot of girls come here, shop for a lot of the, uh, the theme park gear through here. A lot of cool dresses up. This is really cute. There's the purse that my mom got. It's a small world. Again, there's the uh, Passport to the Park shirt. Very, very cool. Check that out. If you love it, check out PassportToTheParks.com. Go to the store. You can find all that great stuff there. Very, very nice Dumbo. Look at that. I actually have this cup at home. I do, I do, I love it. Got the Donald Duck uh, butt cup candle. Very neat. It's a good idea to make candles out of the coffee mugs. I have so many coffee mugs at home, I could probably do that. That's get some good inspiration when you come through sometimes. Here's the D-Tech where you can get uh, magic bands and cell phone cases made up, customized. All right, we'll head back and see if uh, they're done with the pin trading yet. Really appreciate you guys sticking around with me today. Sometimes it's just fun to be laid back and walk around the parks, walk around Disney Springs. It's a great, beautiful day for a Saturday. It's not crowded here at all. Kind of take you out of your normal daily adventures and give you some of these Disney adventures. And again, I really, really appreciate the super chats that you guys have given throughout the day here. Really can't thank you enough for those. All right, looks like good timing here. You guys are done. You get what you need? Yes. What'd you get? Well, they got me. Huh? Well, good stuff. Good oh, you got your far. <laughs> really? Yeah. Talked them into it. I showed them it. And yeah, you like, showed them it. it. Yeah. Of course, you have to have it. Of course. When they ask, do you want something that I show them? You don't just. Well, say grandparents no. tend to love doing yeah. stuff for their grandkids. Especially if they haven't seen them in a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah, it matches your hat. There you go. Very cool. Very good. What, you were probably in your 40s or 50s when the Mickey Mouse Club came out? I was. Yeah? I was, yeah. Or you mean four or five? Oh, four or five, I'm sorry. <laughs> Guess you're not that old, right? No. I was 12. 12? Yeah. 12? I met Sharon. Probably. You had a crush on Sharon? No. Annette? Annette. Yeah, Everybody had Annette. Yeah, well, she was a cute little Italian girl with just, you know, great perky smile. I think Darlene was the, Darlene was better. <laughs> Yeah, Annette had the uh, yeah. the assets that before anybody else. Yeah. I like Spin and Marty. Actually, that was my. Oh, that was good, yeah. I love watching Spin and Marty. And the person that rang me up 
I was talking about my plane, they said good luck. <laughs> Laura said she loves your hat. They like your hat? Laura said she loves your hat. Oh, hey, good. Thank you. Ed, we're going to be here September uh, 3rd through the 15th. September's a great time to be here, it really is. I caught one. I'm really good at catching web bikes. If somebody can give me the uh, lottery numbers <laughs> that I can win, I can be down here that day. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, if anybody's got the winning lottery numbers, we'll all come down here in September. Well, I th I'll be here already, but. Don't give us the winning lottery numbers. You're stuck here. Yeah, I'm stuck here. I want the rooster. <laughs> so, please. Jeffrey, you're going to be there uh, for 10 days, been saving since November, going to shop a lot. Well, you can see, I mean, just walking around here, there are so many options, and we only saw, you know, little bits and pieces of this. There is so much stuff here at Disney Springs. They did an amazing job opening this entire area up, um, expanding it all the way from the West End through the landings into the marketplace. Um, just incredible. From, from very high end, very high scale, down to, you know, just the little trinket gifts something for every single person food any food experience that you want here from high end to really classy down to the amazing deluxe burgers that we had here was a really good price over there so i love disney springs i, I love spending a lot of time here obviously you guys see me here a lot that way yeah we'll be here i'm hurrying all right yeah turn their carts back on I here and we'll be on our way one. got more this is a single one. More love bugs. This one was on Grandma's scooter. Crazy Domo. We got to win the instant lottery. Yeah. We'll win any lottery. It sounds good. Oh, 42. 42, Grandpa. We're gonna head the Art of Disney this way. No, not yet. Here's the Earl of Sandwich. And this should really need no introduction. If you have not eaten here, it's a must. If you have eaten here, then it needs no explanation. Uh, I did a food review on this. I did the, uh, the holiday sandwich here. And it's absolutely spectacular, delicious. Here's a little merry-go-round for all the little princesses and little princes out there. Edward, the windshield clutter the love bugs, yes. The love bugs get all over the windshields, the bumpers. Did anyone say anything about your car while you're there? Can I take this down? No, nobody about your car yet. Can I take this down? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm going to open the door. Yeah, let's open the other door. We'll walk through the Christmas store to the other side, and then we'll get to the Art of Disney. Now we can go in right here. Woo! Crazy Doma love the ambient music at Disney Springs. That's the best thing about Disney is they put you in different atmospheres. No matter where you go, the resorts, the parks, Disney Springs, the buses, the transportation, there's always, they set the mood with the visuals, the music, the background, the smells. That's what's so great about it, is they can put you into whatever feeling or whatever situation they want you to experience with all your senses. It's Christmas all year round here.
Grandpa's hat. Did I show him Grandpa's hat? Yeah. Yeah, they saw it. They loved it. Yeah. Oh, you put the pin on it. Yeah. Oh, we'll see. You added the pin to your hat. That looks great. That's perfect. Oh, choose your ornament. Make it your own. Take it home. You can customize oh, the ornaments oh. here. I like how they always keep the shop open for Christmas. But it's not even cool. People love Christmas. It's and this is where they actually paint your ornaments so you can get it personalized over here. Doing beautiful work. How are y'all doing? Very good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Looks like you have fun doing that, huh? Me too. Yeah. For a job. That's perfect. Never grow up, right? Okay, this Never. is probably where I should work. That's where you should work too. That's a good idea. Where's Michaela actually? Where's Michaela? You ready? Okay. We'll head out this way. And there is the art of Disney. It is the best store ever. You might want to park through here. Just park them over here somewhere. Here. Always oh, got to find good parking spots for the scooters when we're down here. Just like you got to find parking spots oh, for the strollers. The loop, and when I finally got the loop, there was a crowd. Oh yeah. Sometimes you got to wait for the people to go by. This is always fun down here too. The little uh, fountains that shoot up out of the out of the ground. The kids love this. Candy used to love running through here when she was younger. She probably still do it now, actually. That's a lot of fun. Let's see if we can get the water to shoot up, get a picture of it. All right, this is where they do like all the stitching and stuff here, Wonderful World of Memories, when the Art of Disney is next to it. They got really cool luggage and hats and some stuff you can personalize through here. So we're going to head in here. I'm here for the churros. I'm here for ears. I'm here for the Mickey bars. I'm here for snacks. I'm here for ears. I'm here for Mickey bars. I'm here for the snacks. <laughs> the snacks. That's you. Cool keychains through here, a lot of graduate stuff. Got the graduation Mickey There's ears. A shirt epic that says, I'm here for the rides. I'm here for the rides. I'm here for entertainment. I'm here because Walt Disney was a genius. Oh, look, they have Rapunzel's diary. That's cute. She can write all the things that she does during the day. And how many times she brushed her hair? It's going in a horrible direction. Oh, no. Itch. I have an itch. I have an itch. You might get a little choppy through here, guys. I'm sorry. Do I have a, a splotch? There's a splotch. Right here. No, not too bad. Oh, my face is itchy. <gasps> sorry, guys. My signal is uh, not good through here at all. All right, we'll see what we can do. It might be a little choppy through here, and I do apologize. Oh, Tiger Bear! There you go. I just put a video out this morning. I smacked myself for the uh, the lights festival, and it's literally the lanterns from Tangled, and we got to experience that last year. Remember doing the the lanterns? Yeah. That was so cool. Definitely check that video out. I just put it on on Facebook this morning. That face paint's making you itchy? Yes. Am I allergic to face paint? Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom. I want every single thing in here. Like, look at this! 
I know, it's amazing. Every single piece. Oh, I remember hey, that. Hey, Paper short. Man, yeah. I love that short so much. Where's Grandma? This is nice, too. Where's Grandma? Oh, they Where's got Cinderella? Grandma? Go tell her. Hopefully my signal is holding up in here so you can see all this amazing stuff. A lot of Thomas Kincaid stuff. Beautiful paintings. Oh, this is neat. I haven't seen this before. Great on the wall. I love that. Look at a picture of that. So one of my favorite pieces in here now is this Mulan. It looks completely like a real life portrait of Mulan. I think it's beautiful. Oh, and the Dumbo too. Wow, this is the baby mine scene. That is beautiful. Such a sad scene in the movie too. The new Maleficent movie coming out, Mistress of Evil. That looks amazing. Jeffrey just ordered my Passport to the Parks Gondola t-shirt. Hopefully get a great pick with you. That would be very awesome. I hope you can. If not, uh, get a pic with you wearing it and send it to you. Yeah, please send it to me. I love sharing that stuff on social media. So take a picture of yourself and send it to me. And we'll definitely get a picture together when you come. Or we'll wear uh, a passport shirts together. This is great too. This is a large print right here. I actually have this in the 11 by 17. This same print, the, uh, the Haunted Mansion, the Attic Bride. Really, really pretty. Let's see what else we got through here. All kinds of great stuff. A lot of the uh, Walt Disney pictures. They used to have a ton more. I have uh, a wall dedicated to Walt Disney. And I have a lot of these pictures of him. Uh, I have this one actually, and a bunch of others. I don't know how, what they have left in here. But Walt Disney is my favorite person of all time. I think it's amazing I have that one. Probably a lot of the same ones I have that one. I think I have all of these. I have that one. I have that one. Yeah, he was uh, just such a genius. And we have to be thankful for, for his mind and his imagination. I love this. Amy, love the song from Mulan in the background. Yeah, that was uh, Christina Aguilera. That was where she did, um, Jeannie actually did that for the, uh, the Mulan soundtrack. And she was, uh, she was one of the only voices that could sing that song the way she did. So thankfully she, uh, well, that, no, that wasn't Christina Aguilera. That was uh, Leah Salonga's version. But Christina Aguilera, the pop version of it. I had which version I heard. Um, so Grandma and Grandpa are in there, and then guess how much the thing was? How much? Oh, well, that's not too bad. I love you, but Lisa Longo, who sings Reflections, who is the singing voice of Mulan, is also the singing voice of who? What? Leah Salonga. She sings the singing voice of Mulan and who else? You should know this. Who are you just going to play with? Jasmine. Jasmine. Do you ever wonder how they kind of sound the same? I know. She sings a whole new world. She's an amazing singer. This is awesome. I've always loved this. No brainer. How much were those small photos? Which uh, ones? Which the ones, ones over there? I'm not sure which ones. Because if you ever need a birthday idea for Grandma, Dad, just come back here. Come back. Come back here. Excuse me. You want to know how Let's 
see these are uh, these are 99 on the wall here if you're referring to these those look like candy canes. what <laughs> I know she loves Cinderella it's a nice Dumbo yeah this is Jumbo let's see the other small ones you might be referring to over here see the castles these are Larry Dotson's I have a lot of Larry Dotson's as well he does some really really great prints $25 he usually comes here you can catch him here uh, in an Epcot as well and he'll do autograph signing so you can buy his prints Larry Dotson and then he'll also he'll personalize it and sign it for you so very very cool guy I actually have this one I have this and he he has this uh, personalized with my name and then he signs it Ooh. Carl and Ellie Bear Bear and Bear Fox that I is wish, very very cool oh yeah I was about to say I wish Prince Slay was still alive so I could sign it and then I saw this I know I have that one you have this one you stole it from me no, I didn't steal it I got it for myself because I love it I don't have this you get yet. all the Princess Leia stuff I don't, oh. have I don't have this I don't have that or I don't have that this one's great too. So you've got, if you guys ever I actually wanted send, this one too, so you guys can't see it. If you guys ever want to send fail mail to me, just get something princess. That's right. Or Jafar. She loves Princess Leia stuff. Or Jafar. Or Jafar, yep. Yeah. Ah, and I have this too. Okay, so this is very, very nice. It is very nice. And I have that. It's one of my favorite pieces. And this, who got me this for my birthday? No one. This is the helmsman. We got that for him because every I've, time he comes in here, he's like, No, I've wanted this for so long, and I opened this on my birthday, and Cammy and Cindy got my got me that for my birthday. I was so happy. Yeah. So every time he's like, You owe me for being a great dad, so you should scratch my back. Think about that. <laughs> you owe me for being a great dad? I believe that. Well, you're a great kid. That makes me a great dad. And dad, this happened. No brainer, you're very welcome. <laughs> this happened. So, my binoculars fell on the floor, and yeah. now they're stuck in place. Oh. Which I do. I'll look at them when we're done. I'll show you the rest of the stuff through here, guys. And That's really nice, too. That's a good Lion King one. These artists, I tell you, painted this that is beautiful some people have more talent and a little finger than we do in our entire life these are pretty cool too look at all this Ichabod and Mr. Toad that is so awesome Ichabod Ichabod Crane oh it's my Marion and Robin how could you not come through here and just swipe your credit card on everything Let's oh, nice move on. Look at that. This is basically $400 too. So if we ever need to get mom, I mean, have mom and grandma birthday present, you know what we should get her. Cinderella. I agree. We should get that triangle. I have that picture now too. I don't have a painting, but I have a print of that. Yes, you do. I love this. Sleepy, I know. I saw that already. I was trying to point that out to you. I would like to get this, but I didn't. Now you want to get your yeah, I want to get that one. Your Irish, uh, Irish, Irish shelf on a shelf. It's cool, Oswald up there. Look at yeah. Stitch. Stitch looks great up there too. I love, okay? Okay. Grandma and Grandpa got me this book for my birthday once. And then we got you something here. We got you a key and then something else. What else? Yes, the Haunted Mansion key and... We got you the photo. Yes. I don't think they have that photo anymore. Okay. That's the one I have. This yeah. is the print, the uh, attic ride that I have. Dark. Then I have another Look cool... That's cool. I'm telling you guys, I'll have to do a, an entire like walk through my office and stuff with all the... I have to do like a Disney merchandise walkthrough. All right, well, I'm gonna head back outside. Okay. And we'll probably wrap this up here in a second. Three main players of Disney. Princess Leia, Jafar, Mary.
Mary Poppins. Those are all great. All right, everybody. So there you have it. That is our fun little uh, Disney Springs adventure. Hopefully you like the uh, deluxe burger. Still full from that thing. That thing is huge. Second time eating at deluxe burger and it was absolutely amazing. I highly recommend doing that. Uh, plus it was cool to run in my friend Michael over there as well. Uh, again, awesome guy. Check out uh, Theme Park Brothers over on YouTube. They do some really, really fun stuff over there. Cammy had a great time. Grandma and Grandpa's still inside. Um, so it was really fun hanging I'm out with them as well. I'm gonna dress up as a villain after this. You gonna dress up as Jafar? No, Jafar doesn't like music. No. Only his music. Okay, so again, I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for the super chats. There's a ton of them up there. Uh, what I like to do is, is put the super chats out on uh, as a YouTube post now. So I'll do that, and I, I like to thank you guys personally for doing that because it is very generous, and it's it's so appreciated that you guys you know take the time to donate, you know anything from you know a dollar up to the, the amazing amounts that sometimes you guys give. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, other than that, check out passporttotheparks.com. All kinds of great uh, articles, videos, Cammy pictures, TV. and Cami TV over on you as well. And like and subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. You guys know the drill. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.